Thank you so much guys for tuning in again. I appreciate all your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. And if you can and if you will and if you want to see more updates from me, please hit that bell notification on the lower right side. Now today I'm making a different type of fish. Um, it's fish day again. Um, as, you, as you know, I've cut down on red meat, so I'm trying to eat more fish and chicken. Um, yeah, so I have here, as you can see, this is called, this fish is called sea bass. This is sea bass. And I think it's a Norwegian one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, so this is how the fish looks like. It's kind of long long shaped fish as you can see i already started seasoning it and i slid it open like that and sometimes when you slit fish open like that it helps to get those spices in so and i seasoned it up with the lemon pepper seasoning and yeah that's how it looks like inside that's the other side yeah and i washed it with lemon and water and I did add a little bit of lime and lemon to it. So I'm going to bake this fish, guys. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bake it. I'm going to bake it. I haven't tried this type of fish before, but um, it'd be nice to see how it tastes. I was looking for rainbow trout. I love trout. But um, he said that he didn't have uh, trout today. So I'll be looking for trout next week from that fish store. Next week they'll have the trout. So now this type of fish, he said, is very tasty. If I like trout, this would be a good substitute to trout. So we'll see. We'll see. And another thing I wanted to tell you guys, the way you know that fish is fresh is by looking at the gills. If you see the stuff that goes in here, well, he's already cleaned and taken it out. But there's like gills that go in here. And if those are pinkish in color, then that means the fish is fresh. And um, if you also press down on the fish like so and it bounces back and it doesn't leave a dent see it bounces back if it doesn't leave an indent then that means that the fish is fresh good to check the fish while it's still like you know before they clean it already this one's already been cleaned and everything so i'm going to continue to spice up my fish using that lemon pepper herb and um, i'll show you how the lemon pepper spice looks like it's also again from same uh, company i use for the other fish uh irie products and it is no msg product which is the monosodium glutamate um yeah and that's how it looks like this is the back of it that's how it looks like yeah it's like a yellow and peppery color black color and those are the ingredients yeah so I'm gonna throw this in the oven and see how it works out so guys this is how the fish looks like um, I decided to put like lime slices um, on top and inside the fish so with this one I'm gonna do I'm gonna try this out I'm going to put some on top and I have, I'm going to put one slice inside of this one, one slice inside of this one, see how that does it. And I put one slice in there and I put some on top of this one. Hey guys, so this is how the fish looks like so far. I have gone ahead and seasoned the fish like you saw before and I have decided to slice up some lime and what I've gone and done and put a slice of lime in this one as you can see there and I put slices of lime on top of this one to see the difference in taste and another slice and a slice inside there so we'll see which one tastes better whether you know we need more lime on the top or just a slice inside so we'll see how it works out okay and I'm gonna put just a little bit more, just a little bit more seasoning because 
with all the water and everything sometimes the seasoning does come out because I forgot to dry the fish you know so I'm gonna put that in the oven I've put it I've put the oven on 375 degrees and I'm gonna bake that for we'll see in like about 20 minutes how it looks like 20 to 30 minutes or or less we'll see how it looks like I'll keep checking always remember to keep checking to see you know how it's doing because yeah, as you know fish does cook fast so I'm gonna throw it in the oven now guys so this is how the fish looks like so far it's looking pretty good what do you guys think what do you guys think look at that um, I think I'm gonna put it in for a few more minutes. It's already done 20. Um, I did reduce the heat, however, halfway I reduced the heat to 300 degrees. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. I did taste a little bit, and yeah, it does look like it's almost ready, if not ready. But yeah, I'm gonna kind of broil the skin a little bit, so it's a more a little bit more crispier. And yeah, and then we're ready to chow. So guys, the fish is done. It is done and this is how it's looking. That's how it's looking. Oh, let's get some better lighting here, guys, for you. So that's how the fish is looking. Um, I did put it on broil for the last few minutes. So that's why it got that kind of like a crispy uh it's not burnt guys it's just the seasoning that got that kind of coloring but yeah i'm ready to chow guys it's oh i'm salivating already <laughs> okay so i'm gonna kind of like open that fish up so you guys can see how it looks like on the inside so i'm cutting the fish open and let's see what we have here first of all I'll show you the inside and yeah that lemon that lime slice of lime kind of melted up a little bit in there but that's a, i hope that's a good thing um so it looks pretty soft so i'm gonna cut cut it in half and we'll see how the texture looks like inside oh it's pretty soft guys it's pretty soft oh, as you can see Look at that steam coming out of there. I don't know if you guys can see the steam rising. Freshly baked fish. Um, let me taste a little bit of that. It does have bones in it, so I want to be careful. Mmm. Mmm. It does taste pretty good, guys. It does taste pretty good. That lim the lime did soak in. This is the one that has the lime inside, remember? And this one has a lime on top. So the one with the lime on top. Let's taste a little bit of that. See how that tastes. Mm. I think it's a good idea to put the lime on top, guys because when you put it on top it kind of soaks into the fish which is pretty like awesome if you're the kind of person that likes lime i'm a person that likes lemon and lime on my food so yeah so this is the end result i hope you guys like it don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification for me guys if you want to see more videos like this on my channel i have a variety of videos guys so i try to cater for everyone but um yeah Thank you so much. Until next time, stay positive, you dick. <laughs>